All right, this exercise is called a bird dog. So in this exercise, we're gonna go on all fours. This is a good exercise to flank between the cat cow and doing a full plank. If you are having trouble with the full plank, this is gonna be your step up to that, okay? So we're gonna start here, uh, hips and knees right in line with one another, shoulders and wrists in line with one another, and insides of the elbows facing one another. That'll help turn some of this stabilizing musculature on here. Um, we also want hips, shoulders, and head to be in line. So if I were to put my hand on Dominique's back, I would need her to bring her head up just a little bit, good. Now, what I will commonly see when I ask people to bring their head up is for them to tip their head up like so. That actually takes deep neck flexors, which is some of your postural muscles, out of the equation. So we wanna keep that neck long. Uh, some people will say like as if you're holding like an orange or something underneath there. Try not to give yourself a double chin. If you've given yourself a double chin, you've gone too far, okay? So nice and long from head to tail. Dom, you're doing a nice job keeping a nice long back through there. If you're not sure if your back is long, you can use a pole. So like a, well, any pole you have, uh, broom handle works great at home. And you should be touching at head all along between the shoulders and all the way down to tail. You can have a little bit of a gap through here. Um, but if you could lift even further through here with and staying open through the chest, there we go. Feel how much extra core work that is just to make that tiny change, right? And lift the head just a touch so we get to touch and tail again a little bit more, a little bit more. That'll do it. Okay. So now keeping this on here, uh, another good thing that you can use as a tool at home is if you've got a foam roller, you could use a foam roller instead, and that will help you know that you're staying square in shoulders and hips as you are taking one arm forward and the opposite leg backwards. Good. Lower that down. Other side. Good. Now let's notice, do that last one. Yeah. So go ahead, show, show the bad way again. We do not want to be opening in the hips at all or dipping through here. So if you're feeling that you're doing that, Go ahead and try again, square up, move slower. Open through here a little bit more down. Uh, that's lifting, there we go. yes. And you may not be able to go quite as far. Do not be surprised if that's the case. Good, go ahead and reach again, other side. Nice and slow. This hip is starting to open, pause here, drop it down. Good, reach long. Good, no arching through there, reaching, reaching, reaching. Shoulder away from the ear, perfect, lower back down. Good. So this simple little exercise, when you do it well, you should feel a ton of work going on here, a ton of work going on here, maybe some work in the inner thighs, hamstrings, and glutes as well. If you don't and you're just flying through your bird dogs, go ahead, give me a, give me a few of them, and you don't feel like this is making you shake, you are not doing them well. So I encourage you to get that foam roller, put it on your back, and make sure it doesn't fall off. You can rest for a second. If you get into all fours like that and you're having a hard time figuring out how to stay level, we can take it back a notch so that would be um, even more between the cat cow and the full bird dog and just do arms or legs. So if we can demo that, Dom. Again, finding nice length, head to tail, insides of the elbows facing one another, pulling up through belly button, but dropping down through chest and opening through here. Good. And then go ahead and just reach one arm. Good, notice how nice and square Domini is able to stay here, okay? And sliding the hand if you need to, if uh, just lifting it is too, still creating too much shifting. Yes, good, even less shift down here. So as you slide that leg, you can keep pressure down into the top of the foot so that you are not um, entirely unweighted, but that pressure can help you use that core better to the capacity of strength that it actually has. Does that make sense? Okay, very good. So to summarize, arms by themselves, legs by themselves, or opposite arm and leg are your levels of bird dog. If you're not sure which level you should be at, feel free to send us a video. We'll give it a little critique for you 
and give you some feedback.